Hi guys, so let's learn Ellie King's X's and O's. So it's basically one very, very catchy riff which is being played and that goes along with the E minor chord. So the E minor chord, this is how I'm playing it, B, E, G. And then there's a riff which pretty much goes on throughout the song except the chorus which is like the release. Okay, so you go... That's pretty much the entire thing. So what you could do on the piano is either you could play the whole thing with both hands. <laughs> then of course something changes there just for the B chord. So it's essentially E minor for one cycle, E minor for one more, then B, and then of course E minor again. So just that B major, sorry, B dominant seventh happens the third bar. Okay, so pretty much the riff is... So what you could do is in the right hand you could play the chord... basically hold the chord for the entire cycle and just make a note of how I have voiced it uh, how I have timed it rather tung, tung, tung. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 remember it's a swing song so the way you can count this is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and tung 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 so the B, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, so the 1 is your E, 1 and 2 and, so this is the and of the 2 where you play B, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, so the D is at the 4, E is at the 1, B is at your 2.5. While you do that, you can hold the chord here. So what happens there is... So you can do a B 7th in your right hand. So B 7th is nothing but B major which is B, D sharp and F sharp and in addition to that you play the A B, D sharp, F sharp and A right so you go and in the left hand you just do B, F sharp B, F sharp back to I think it's high E and then B D, but you could probably play even the low E, B and the D. Right? So this is the entire verse. Na 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 That one, two, three part. One, two, da, 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 come back to me. You ba basically just play E minor at the one of every bar staccato or hit it and then cut it quickly. And so on. It's just that. And then we go to the chorus, right? Which is just basically G. D major, E minor, B major, G major, D major, A minor, 
C major. So it's pretty much that you can play each chord four times. And here and there in my left hand, I try to add a little bit of swing by playing the fifth or the octave of the chord as a ghost note. And when the chorus ends, X is a nose. Mm, boom, boom. Back to the other part, right? So the chorus you could perhaps play. And perhaps play this swing pattern where you get the swing with your thumb of the left hand. This is without the swing. G major chord with swing. You're adding this thumb. And so. Try to play this softly, that's why we call it a ghost. So a very cool riff and then you have your chorus so that's pretty much it there's a riff there's a chorus and then that one two three part where you just break it down right cheers all the best have fun playing this song